and people, dude, they've been so tricked. They've been so manipulated into really believing that the government actually cares about them. Think about all the black people in San Francisco. Like, oh yeah, we're going to get $5 million. Are you stupid? They're not going to hey, give you anything. They might. I say do it. Give the reparations. Collapse the system. Let anybody who works, who lives in San Francisco come in if they're black. Give them the money. It's also like you get a certain amount of money for 100 years, I think it is, or something like that. Was it? And then you get to buy a house for a dollar was another thing. Like, I'd love to know who's going to build these houses. So not only are you going to give people how many million? Five million? I think it was five million. Wait, hold on. But before we even remember, it was it was like 260. Fact check this. It, was, it started at 260, which you think, okay, 260,000 for doing nothing? Seems fair. And then like, no, no, actually, we need 360. Okay, all right, sounds fair. Then it was... Then it went up to, they just jumped from 360,000 to 5 million. And then there was the clip, I don't know if you saw it, there's a viral clip of another guy who said, 5 million is not enough, we need 6.7. So, so the extra million and a half or whatever on top of the five, that is, now we're, now you're talking, nice. now I can feel better. A nice signing bonus. Um, so you get all that money per person. I worked this out a while ago, I forget how many black people there are in San Francisco, it costs you. It ends up costing you a couple trillion dollars. But then you have to build these houses for free, and the government has to pay the construction company. Um, because whether or not you're buying a home that exists, that is valuing the home at zero. So the money that would have been made has to come from somewhere. I feel like I don't know. Is that how it would work? If you have a, a house that's already on the market. Like, how would that house become owned by nobody to the point where you can sell it for a dollar? The government would have to pay the value of it. So now you're also paying the value of, like, a million-dollar home per person as well. Or you just tell Whitey that they can't live there. Great. Uh, there's a great quote in the movie Black Sheep by Chris Farley. It's totally right. Kill Whitey! No, no, no. I don't think you could say that. He was on to something. I meant uh, white chocolate. Who likes white chocolate? And I'm not talking about Jason Williams, the basketball player. No, well, I don't like the, the actual... That stuff's nasty. Yeah, me either. He's no Jason Williams, the guy who was limo driver. <laughs> Jason Williams. No, there's Jason Williams, the point guard. And then there's Jason Williams, the center. Who sh yeah, who shot his driver. He didn't die, though. I think he just shot him. Well, now we've gotten completely off track. You know who did die? Steve McNair, former quarterback for the Tennessee Titans, got shot by his wife in his work. The by his wife for cheating on him. What? <laughs> um, uopod.com. Subscribe on whichever platform you're watching. Go to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. If you're watching on there, subscribe. And uh, if you're listening on audio, please leave us a review on there. Spotify is where most people are listening, but also on some app I've never heard of that I sent you. I didn't remember what that one was called. No, not iHeartRadio? No, there is some other like all-encompassing podcast app. Neither here nor there. Please subscribe, and we will see you next time.